all right hi pisces welcome back guys i hope you all are doing well okay i need to get a remote to turn on and off that thing because i'm tired of reaching over there already but um so hi guys <clears throat> welcome back all right let's get some messages for you pisces let's see what's happening with you all okay i know y'all said y'all wanted to see my face yesterday so i'm showing you guys my face today all right y'all know i don't like getting on camera but um it is what it is huh <laughs> i love you guys so i'm gonna kind of like give you what you want <laughs> right so let's see what's going on for pisces spirit um anywhere that you have pisces placements in your chart this reading could resonate for you okay um take what resonates leave what doesn't flip i said leave what doesn't flip <laughs> leave what doesn't fit flip and switch the roles okay um could be talking about someone else in your energy also guys be aware in the comments that there are fake people like fake pages of me in the comments um if my name is not highlighted if tarot with empress eva is not highlighted please don't respond the whatsapps the fake ass emails all that shit is a scam so please don't get scammed okay please because so many people send me shit to my cash app and i have to send it back because people are like scamming and it's like bitch if you're gonna scam aren't you supposed to be making up your own fucking cash app like i feel like somebody like people do that shit to be annoying it's like they just do that shit to just i don't know what the fuck but anywho let's see for pisces spirit messages here for pisces clear messages please and thank you um what else i was gonna say that's it i think okay yeah spirit um please return any spell work any dark magic that's sent to harm the collective and their loved ones me and my loved ones please return it back to the sender thank you so much so let's see here for pisces What's going on here for Pisces? All right, so we have the Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sag could be significant. Okay, someone with an Aquarius Mercury could be significant here. That could be your placement or somebody else's, if you know their chart, right? But so this is a new beginning here. Some of y'all are getting ready to move. Definitely travel, definitely moving. Um, this could be a vacation that you're getting ready to go on here. Um, but I'm getting a sigh of like relief. You could be moving on from a situation, but I'm definitely getting peace is being restored. Harmony is being restored in your life. Okay, Pisces. Um, I feel like there's a spark in creativity. There's passion here. Wherever you're going, I feel like you're going to love it. It could be a warm place. Yeah, you're going towards the sun right here. Some of y'all are moving to a bigger city, a bigger state. Okay, but definitely with the Six of Swords, this is spiritual guidance. So I feel like you're following your guidance here. Okay, which is good. All right, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there could have been like, there could be a, like a loss of money or the abundance that you're trying to manifest for yourself could be delayed. You could have a new project here that you're trying to work on, but I feel like it's been delayed or something has been taken away from you. Some of you guys could be moving with little to nothing. Like you have a lack of resources. Okay, but you're getting ready to take this risk and do it anyway. Because your soul, I feel like your soul is calling you to do something or be somewhere. Let's see what else. Some of you guys could be leaving a job. Like maybe you don't want to work at some job or something like that. But we're going to see what that Ace of Pentacles is. The Queen of Cups. Cancer Energy. The Empress. Hmm, we're going to see who that Queen of Cups is. Let's see. I don't know why this cookie app keeps sending me stuff. And I really want some cookies too. <laughs> but I'm not gonna, you know, keep eating all these sweets. So what else? The strength card. Who had this in this position? I think Scorpio. Oh, can you guys see the cards? Okay, you can see them. So the strength card, Leo energy. So I'm getting, yeah, you're probably going to need the confidence to do this, the courage. This is like a leap of faith is what I'm getting. Yeah, the chariot, the sun. Yeah, going towards the sun, going towards your happiness. Yeah, the lovers. It could be a connection here that's trying to come together. You and a divine counterpart possibly that you're being guided to or led to. What else? I feel like you're, somebody here could be way more disciplined than they were at first. 
way more courageous or more confident, okay? Which is good, yeah, King of Wands and a Three of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, you and somebody are supposed to be working with each other. That's why the other part, I feel like you were, you guys both probably could work good alone, but I feel like there's somebody else here that you are supposed to be working with. Okay, and I feel like that's where you're guided. You're guided to go work with somebody here that's just as creative as you, that's just as spontaneous, inspirational as you, uh, charismatic, innovative. Okay, all of that, you know, good shit, right? So I'm definitely getting a lot of movement here, a lot of action being taken place. Um, a it could be a Leo here, Capricorn on Mars. There could have also been people here working together to stop this abundance from coming in for you or to delay it. Because I don't feel like it's lost. I feel like it's just delayed. I feel like it's just delayed here. It could be a mother figure involved somewhere. But okay, yeah, the Death card, the King of Swords, Six of Cups. I'm getting a partnership here. Definitely hard work. We're going to see what kind of hard work that is, though. Some type of, like, collaboration, recognition. But like I said, I feel like you and somebody are supposed to be working together where I feel like it's been delayed or you haven't, you know, gotten a chance to actually work with this person properly or something. What else? Five of Swords. Hmm. Aquarius, Venus energy, bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess. So, there's like some miscommunication between you and someone else because there's drama here, okay? There's a lot of drama going on here, all right? The five of swords is like bullying or intimidation. It could also be, it could mean that you're standing your ground here. Let's see. Seven of cups, the star. Could be an Aquarius here. Scorpio Venus placement. Yeah. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see six of swords. Three of wands in reverse. Yeah, definitely. There's been delays for sure. Someone could be an Aries here, Aries sun. You could be dealing with an Aries sun sign person, but... The three of wands in reverse, there's definitely been like delays, a lack of confidence for sure, right? Under the strength card. So somebody here has not been too confident, not been too sure about whatever this move could be. But I'm definitely getting something from the past that has been holding someone back. Okay, definitely I see a plane here. Water. So some of y'all could be going to a whole different part of the world. <laughs> it's like you're getting the fuck. But I'm definitely getting somebody here is returning. They've built that confidence up to return to you. Some of y'all are going back home to see like family members, friends, okay. Yeah. Someone has built that confidence up to do this here. They're being guided to do this. What's the three of wands in reverse? Let's see. There's been like a yeah, failed long distance relationship. You and this person could be at a distance. So you could have moved Pisces. What's the three of wands in reverse? Four of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. Capricorn Sun energy. So what was holding someone back for some of you could be the fact that somebody needed to release something. They needed to let go of something. I'm definitely getting someone here needed to see that they lost you to come around. For some of you, some people just need to learn the hard way, I guess, when it comes down to that. You know, like, I guess this person here could have taken you for granted or something like that, or really didn't see your worth or your value before, or they didn't see their own worth or their own value, right? Because if they treat you like that, that's how they are too. So it, I'm definitely getting that, right? This person here could have been closed off 
or something but i feel like there's a there there's like a releasing of like control here i feel like somebody now is willing to share with you give to you with the four of cups i mean four of pentacles in reverse opening up all right definitely could be making a big move a big purchase as well this this move is big for somebody or you okay so yeah i'm definitely i'm definitely getting that but i'm definitely getting to something from the past was holding someone back so let's see it's the ace of wands that there's some some challenge that someone had to overcome what's the ace of wands the star in reverse yeah you lost hope on something here in something on something on someone okay i feel like there's I feel like there's though with the uh, star in reverse could be an Aquarius. There's like a sense of like boredom, a lack of inspiration, a lack of motivation, just feeling bored with your career, your life. Things have become too mundane. It's like the same shit going on every day. Nothing new. Right. I just feel like you feel bored somewhere. So you're moving or your person is. Uh, okay. Yeah. Some of you guys have lost hope in whatever it is you're trying to bring in here. Whatever this could be, I feel like you lost hope maybe with your career, your business. Whatever it could be, I feel like you lost hope for it. But I feel like you don't see that it's coming either, though. It's still coming. Or there's something different. It's like something here was lost. But then there's something else coming that's going to really be better for you. Because I feel like you were bored somewhere. You weren't happy there anyways what's the star in reverse yeah the chariot yeah so something here didn't turn out how you wanted it before okay there was something here that you thought that was going to work out that it, it didn't work okay but the chariot here cancer energy i'm getting moving forward willpower of victory triumph here so you're moving on from something <laughs> Some of you guys could have moved really fast into something. This is like divine intervention with whatever. 10, 10 on the clock. Divine, the divine here has stepped into every move that you're making. You're on a very special like divine path here. Whatever you ha had to go back to or whatever you did was meant for you to do it. To give you that ambition, that drive. It's like somebody needed to gain something from a past experience. Yeah, knowledge, page of swords, eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, family dynamic. Someone had to go back to a family dynamic or realize something, gain knowledge about something, which really helped them to go within their, themselves and see that they weren't happy here or something like that. They weren't happy there. They weren't happy with themselves, first of all. Looking for love or commitment or whatever in all the wrong places and not within yourself. Okay. So, yeah. I feel like somebody that you're leaving behind is going to be feeling let down. Oh, well, it's not meant for you to be there anymore. So what's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? <laughs> the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it was something here. Yeah, about you dating. For some of you, someone here wants to negotiate, work with you. I don't know. I don't like this. Let me see. What's the Knight of Cups, though? With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The moon in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. Could be a Pisces here, Aries, Venus placement. Could be significant. So yeah, somebody is realizing their abundance does not lie with this community, this family, this marriage, this dysfunctional bullshit here. Somebody is realizing that they're not getting any money here. There, there's no stability. There's a lot of dysfunction. There's a lot of just drama going on within a home. I'm getting like a broken family here. A lot of arguing and a lack of support. For, some, for what someone wants to do when it comes down to their dreams, their manifestations, the things that they're working on. There's really no support here. This could be somebody you were dating or this could be somebody your person was dealing with outside of you, right? But a secret has been revealed or something has came out or somebody has finally got the carriage and the balls to leave this situation behind, okay? But I'm feeling like there's a, re a revelation here, a revealing of something. You and this person could have started dating at the time where their finances were fucked up. They were either being stolen from or something like that or something involving someone's family. This person's intuition could have been blocked too. 
And it could have been because someone was dating someone that they were, wasn't supposed to be dating or staying with or whatever. Somebody was really in it for finances or whatever the fuck. But like I said, I feel like you're the missing piece of this person's like life path. You and somebody are supposed to be working together. And it's created like drama, chaos, and a home which also revealed a secret that this person needed to see about where they were putting their time, effort, and energy into and why they weren't getting any fucking money. Okay, like somebody's money has really been fucked up, I feel. Yeah, the seven of wands, the five of pentacles, yeah. <laughs> okay, page of wands, the devil in reverse. Mm. So, what's the queen of cups? Nine of wands. Yeah. So, I'm going to have a sad moon. What's the nine of wands right here? Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, that, that's you. I feel like you surrendered this connection here with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Or this could be you. You or, I mean, this person. But someone could have a Leo, um, Mars. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you just, you just got burnt out. You just got tired of dealing with this shit here. So I feel like you surrendered it and now you're guarded. I feel like you learned the lesson. Or this is your person that learned a lesson from whoever this mother figure is that they've been dealing with or whoever. Baby mama, mother, father, sister, brother, whoever. Yeah, somebody here is a thief. King of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, twice. So definitely somebody here was stealing or trying to make someone miss an opportunity. Seven of Cups in reverse. Because they're superficial. Seven of Cups in reverse is superficiality as well. Yep, Six of Pentacles. So... Yeah, that, that's what happened here with somebody. Okay, and I feel like this person hasn't opened up to tell you, but I feel like you learned your lesson from dealing with this person or something like that. Did This relationship here helps you grow as well as them. He had a magician in reverse, a lot of greediness, conniving energy. Yeah, a lot of magic as well. Mm -hmm. Someone, Someone's whole goal here was to get some kind of like money. Okay. The Magician in Reverse, Page of Pentacles in Reverse is black magic, both of them. It's especially together. So, yeah. Someone here is stubborn. Mm -hmm. They're stubborn. They're failing to compromise with you. It's just not working. So, I just feel like you gave up on it. Or this is your person. Now, they, now they're revengeful. Well, this could be this karmic energy. Whoever's the karmic here. Whoever's the goddamn karmic. What's the strength card? Right here. Two of Cups in reverse and Six of Cups. Could be a Scorpio here. Scorpio Sun, Cancer, um, Venus. Yeah, so during the separation between you and somebody, for some of you, someone here is breaking up with someone. Someone had to leave someone behind or there was a relationship here that was based around like children. Okay, maybe someone can't just up and leave their kids or they didn't want to, so they decided to stay stuck in something that really where somebody here really probably don't give a fuck about these damn children or whatever else they only care about what they're getting out of the situation is what i'm getting with this energy so i feel like this person had to realize that but i feel like during the separation there was a lot of like inner child healing inner child wounds here definitely you and this person are not seeing eye to eye right now or there's some kind of like discord i feel like also this is happening with the relationship with your person too they're experiencing some kind of like discord or going through a separation where there's children involved there's innocent children involved so i feel like they they have to move a certain kind of way they can't just up and decide you know fuck them fuck my baby mama fuck baby daddy whatever and they can't just do that for some of you somebody was dealing with an abusive connection abusive relationship this person could have grown up with this other person or this is you that's dealing with this but i'm getting you and this person right you and this person really miss each other okay there's like a really fun, innocent, playful connection here with you and this person. You guys are just clashing right now. You're not seeing eye to eye. Someone is gaining the strength to come back towards you for a reconciliation. You're this person's soulmate. They miss you here. Yeah, they sad. Yeah, they looking back on how reckless they've been and all that. Then that's good. They need to awaken. They need to see the mistakes that they made and own up to them. <laughs> Right, so what's what's the King of Wands? <clears throat> I need to watch.
wash my son's school clothes. So let's see. Okay, yeah. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, something going on. Something was going on here with this person's money. Page of Pentacles in reverse under the uh, the star in reverse. Definitely somebody is bored with their career or or tired of like losing money every time. Like I feel like somebody's losing hella money or there's like bad news here. There could be some bad news here about some children. Maybe someone's finding out that a child is not theirs. Mm. Yeah, this is... For some of you, somebody here sleeps around with a lot of people. Okay. So, yeah. So, the Page of Pentacles 2... I feel like you feel that this person has been procrastinating. This page of Pentacles in reverse is a bit of procrastination energy. It is um, definitely. Let's see. What's this page of Pentacles in reverse? Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. The Fool. So, let me see. Someone here could be a bully. They're very, like... This person could have also, like... They just knew everything. I feel like somebody here is a know-it-all. For some of you, I'm getting two, again, Pisces, where there's, like, two separate connections here. All right. Well, three. It could be your person and a karmic. You and probably someone else. So... Well, that's four people, but I'm saying, y'all get what I'm saying. Two connections, four people. <laughs> so for some of you guys, you were with a king of wands here. There was a new beginning between you and this, you and this king of wands right here. And then there's somebody from your past that could have been stuck in the past dealing with someone else, right? So for some of you guys, you're just getting out of a new connection or you're seeing this new connection from a different perspective. Some of y'all move too quickly in this connection, Okay, and um, I feel like this person here just a know it all. This king of wands sometimes could be very arrogant or cocky, or you know, they just feel like they know everything. Knight of, Knight of Swords in reverse is that, and because of their cockiness or their arrogance, they missed an opportunity with you. I feel like you got bored here anyway. This person here took you off track for a minute, and so I feel like you're moving on with the chariot, right? For others of you, like I said, if this is your person, this is the person from your past that's dealing with a breakup or going through a separation with a karmic or whatever the fuck, dealing with kids, whatever. There was like magic being used to keep this person, I don't know, in a very arrogant or cocky, lustful energy. Okay, maybe every time they seen you, they wanted sex. Okay, there was a lot of like um, magic being done to trap somebody, to keep them stuck or to make them miss an opportunity or to cause them to act reckless. Not saying that it's just because of magic, but I'm just saying, though, that could have been something here. Because magic, I mean, you're susceptible to um, be put under a spell if you're already in low vibrational energy. The magic is just going to work like that, right? So I feel like somebody's chakras has not been aligned. Okay. This person, too, as well, lacks ambition. They lack goals and drive. This could be this new person that you're dealing with for some of you. This person, you can't rely on them for anything. They're very, like, reckless with how they live their life. They they could have almost put you in harm's way. This person could be going to jail, too. It could be a new person for some of you. But for others of you, it's a different way around. Flip the switch it. But, um, yeah, you're breaking free and leaving somebody out on the cold. Because whoever this is, I feel like that's a different energy for some reason. Yeah, and I feel like they just, they act like they have everything together or like they're working or doing something, but they're not. I feel like you really can't depend on them for anything. I don't know if they were cheating or what. I just feel like this person lacked ambition. They just like to look like they do or something like that. I just feel like boy bye or girl bye, whoever the fuck. What's the three of pentacles? Um, Two of pentacles. Someone could have a Capricorn, Jupiter. What's the Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles? The Judgment. So making a decision here about something from the past. Okay, going through an awakening. 
Yeah, four swords and awakening. <laughs> Could be a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. So this is learning some kind of some kind of like karmic lesson here about juggling or not listening to your goddamn intuition, going back and forth, going back and forth. I'm definitely getting balance being restored though in a partnership. There's something that's definitely being resurrected after a divorce or a breakup or moving somewhere, moving from somewhere that's not healthy, an unhealthy a family situation, unhealthy family dynamic. It could be both of y'all doing this here. Yeah, an abrupt ending, Ten of Swords. Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, the Magician in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's definitely a breakup. Bad news here. The Magician in reverse with the Five of Swords in reverse. This is definitely like serious conflict with the Ten of Swords. Somebody's like upset. They're upset because they're getting left behind or whatever kind of dumb shit they own. Yeah, somebody's doing something unethical. Someone here too could be getting arrested here because they're greedy. For some of you, how someone makes their money is unethical to you. I keep getting that for y'all. I think for y'all or cancer or I don't know. But there's something here that's being revived. Your spirit team is working with you to help balance something out. To bring peace into a situation, I feel like. What's the five of swords? I don't know why. <laughs> My eyebrows. That's because I'm like really like deep in like, hmm, I'm trying to figure this shit out, right? So, anywho, what's the five of swords? <laughs> okay, five of wands. Yeah, conflict. Yeah, it could be just queen of cups here. They feel defeated or they're admitting defeat or something or they need to. But they, they're still going. The nine of wands, it's like they're not giving up either. They're still going to keep fighting even if they are burnt the fuck out. They're trying to hold something together for sure. Yeah, they are. What's the five of wands, five of swords? You guys will be seeing five, five, five. Yeah, this child, the magician in reverse. Somebody could be doing like chaos magic. Because someone knows that someone else is going towards a connection. Could be an Aquarius Gemini here. Yeah, and they sad about it. They're upset. But the Magician in Reverse is definitely conniving. I feel like there's like magic going on here. Page of Pentacles in Reverse is this too. It's magic here that's happening. Someone here is definitely um <laughs> what a weirdo. Who cares what the fuck they doing? Yeah, chaos agent. They're mad. Oh well, bitch. Oh fucking well. Y'all hoes stay mad in these goddamn readings, boy. It just never ends and never fails ever. Go find something else to do. Like, you got plenty of shit to do. Especially the Queen of Cups is a mother. Or someone here is mad at you. They're doing magic on you because they're trying to get revenge or they're in competition with you. So they're doing magic on you or something like that. And it's just like, bitch, bye. You, you sitting in this Queen of Cups energy, you can feel it. You know that it's going on here. And I feel like you're very guarded and you're protected. This is this other fucking energy that feels defeated. Not you. You sitting up here emotionally balanced, you're fine. So I feel like they need to get a new hobby, bitch. Get a new job. Because this one is not paying. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, okay. So we have Mary here. So this person could have been married. Yeah, they could have been married. They could have been making choices about if they wanted to stay married or not. They had two paths to go down or a couple paths. <laughs> Yeah, and they got married to a gold digger when they met you, Divine Union. Or they could have thought that you were a gold digger and decided to leave you out in the cold or whatever. And this is their stupid ass wife or husband or whoever the fuck this is. But, um, mm, what else? This person was married. That's, that's what was holding them back. They needed to get a divorce or something. And that's not for everybody. But we have Block. Given no access, no updates out of the loop money problems someone could be in debt to their credit cards burning through cash irresponsible with money yeah for some of you that's the case page of pentacles in reverse somebody here this could be a new person for some of you like i was getting yeah, it could be an air sign new person but for some of you this is the same person i don't know i just keep getting new energy i mean obviously with the ace of wands here you know it's a new energy 
That's why I feel like it's a new person that you've dealt with that you're ending things with. Because <laughs> spirit, I feel like spirit is guiding you back to somebody from your past, though, too. But whoever this new person is could have had money issues. And it's just like you're over it. So what else? I mean, not saying that because you're having money issues. But it's like if you're at a different level in life and somebody actually is procrastinating with what they need to do, that's different. That's bummy. That's not broke. It's being a bum here. So. All right. So we have religious. Someone is into their religion, goes to church, tithes, follows religious dogma. Yeah, and they're a fake-ass religious person, too. They're, they're fake. Whatever they go by is fake. Yeah, toxic ways. Bad habits, addictions, can't stay away from harmful substances. So, definitely something about religion, tradition. Okay, what's this religious card? What is this about? More than friends? Excuse me, third-party situation, clearly. Somebody here could be gay or something could be coming up about the fact that this person is gay or bisexual or whatever. You know, no sh no judgment there. It's just, I'm seeing, I'm looking at the card. Someone here, religious beliefs, they don't, they don't go by their beliefs. They really don't act like they go by anything, really. They're really, really toxic, especially if they sit up here doing magic. What else? <laughs> I just feel like, bitch, lit. Turned up, partying, amazing, cool, exciting, something or someone is popping off. False twin flame. Yeah, this person, this false twin flame, yeah, is jealous of you because you're in your purpose, you're in your power. And I feel like your person is coming back to your ass regardless. Okay, somebody is dealing with a false twin. Yeah, and I feel like they're mad about something, bitch. Okay. Yeah, soul contract, truth unveiled. Ninth house, that's religious energy again and deranged. Yeah, somebody is hiding the fact that they have a goddamn mental disorder and they're hiding behind religion. They're using religion to hide who they actually are. And they're very dark, very demonic. They're not spirit. Well, they are probably spiritual. It's just dark. They're into dark spirituality or something like that. They're not really who they proclaim to be. Yeah, so we have glowed up. A physical and mental transformation for the better looking yourself in the mirror and making a change, period. Then we have jealous. Yeah, once the uh, once the one you're with. So somebody here is jealous of your glow up. They're jealous. Um, your person's ex or ex wife, ex husband, whoever could be jealous of you. Okay, just all type of stupid shit here. And I feel like this separation here, you definitely glowed up during this separation. You're more empowered. You just are on your shit here, and there's even more jealousy coming towards you. <laughs> so you know, get prepared. You know, I feel like you ain't got to do shit. Let people be jealous. I feel like you came a, a long way in your journey to the point where you're not going to entertain people like this. So, yes, yeah, so we have low vibes, bad energy, low vibrational per person, energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy, harboring, suffering, fear, and anger. Fire sign. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's the fire sign card? Social media stalker. Always on your socials, keeping tabs on you, always viewing your updates. Yeah, shady. So there could be a fire sign here watching you. This person could be having money problems and all type of shit. They don't have shit to offer. Whoever the fuck this is, new or old, they don't got nothing to offer. I feel like there's someone that does though. And you know, a lot of y'all don't want to hear it, but it could be this past person that's bringing their ass back. You got to see for yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You got to see it when they come around. But I'm good with reading energy. I know when there's a genuine energy, when there's fraud here. So, yeah, chaos agent mm -hmm. working together, teaming up to maintain whatever this chaos is. Yeah, someone purposely causing chaos or mischief for entertainment. Fake, someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity. They seem very nice to everyone, yet trash talks them behind their back in order to improve their social status. Okay, yeah, and they're broke and their home record. Like, bitch, you got to choose a struggle. <laughs> really choose which one you're going to be. You can't be both. It's pathetic. It's actually pathetic. It really is. What else? I told you somebody was doing chaos magic, though. I was getting that. One side of love here. And then we have chilling. Being really comfortable in life, not wanting to do the most at ease and at peace with the world. Yeah, I feel like that's you. I feel like you're unbothered. And something here is one sided. You know why it's one sided. It's not like you don't know anything. This person is delusional. This is this black magic backfiring on this hoe. 
they because they it's like they're doing this shit and it's like they acting like they're sneaking to do something with bitch you're really you're not hiding anything what's one side of love here someone here wants to make yeah evidence <laughs> evidence of this magic or evidence of whatever the fuck this is okay but um yeah snooping divine masculine yeah fake friend <laughs> okay so somebody here has gotten evidence of some kind of like, i feel like it's magic or something like that where this person has seen that something is like one-sided or like i said they were trying to make you feel like you know everything is one-sided with this person and i so let me move forward let me not entertain my divine counterpart to get you to to keep you know be in separation what else for evidence with one-sided love here cheater <laughs> okay somebody found evidence of someone cheating could be this ex is false twin is lining up right here perfect sleeping around while having a partner not playing fair unfaithful non-committal yeah a star somebody could have been saying the star was a cheater or they get around or something like that and it's they bitch ass that do this shit it's the other person <laughs> this is like weirdo energy but whatever you know it is what the fuck it is ain't it so let's see uh, I keep wanting to knock on the deck instead of splitting it. <clears throat> what else? So we have drug addiction to ease pain and anxiety. So this person here could be like taking a lot of medication, trying to cover up their, their pain by drinking, smoking, partying. I don't know. Only an intervention can help them or involuntarily admission. Oh, involuntary admission, I meant. So someone here could have had an addiction, or this is this damn false twin. Because they, they act like they're the ones with the addiction. But it could be your person, too. Promises to make plans but doesn't follow through, yeah. Makes plans to just cancel them. Yeah, something is being delayed here. There's a plan here again. There's a boat there's a, a plan on the three of wands in reverse it's like you could feel like this person is leaving you behind but i just feel like it's a delay it's a delay or this person has like made plans but be, yeah this was like past energy they made plans but because they were in this low vibrational energy they took they chose a different route okay so there's a lot of broken promises here with this person your person all right, so we have gives bad advice, disguised as good, quote unquote, to cause chaos. <laughs> Somebody here is messy, whoever the fuck this is. They will act on their threats, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, and this person is dangerous. The Knight of Swords in reverse, this person is very much so a dangerous, I mean, listen. This bitch probably can't even hurt a goddamn fly. Just call the police on their ass and go, or I don't know, do whatever you have to do though, but... Somebody is like trying to blackmail you or threaten you or say that they're going to do this and that if you do something or whatever. It's just lame. Whatever this is. Stingy. Yeah, only spends money on themselves but never on others. <laughs> it's stingy. Expects others to fit the bill and claims broke. Somebody is a moocher. I'm getting a moocher. Somebody was doing like money magic on someone. They were doing like money spells or something to keep someone's finances stuck or to, I don't know. Quit to disown family members if they don't follow their rules. So I feel like that's why there's so much dysfunction in a home situation because somebody is stuck in a family dynamic where their family is like, hey, if you don't do this, I'm going to disown you. It's like, bitch, disown me then. Y'all was getting disowned anyway, so. Okay. Who gives a fuck? Flashy, showing off, but nothing in the bank. Yeah, somebody's a loser. <laughs> they just a loser. They just want to look like they got something. They really ain't got shit going on. They're a loser. So, anywho. They see you as their sun, moon, and stars, but you're not the universe. They love to love bomb you to make themselves feel in control. They're returning, and they are not any different. It's this false twin that's returning to somebody here yeah, because they, they got fired, demoted, they're laid off. 
secret rendezvous, shady location, and sketchy person. Yeah, so whoever this false twin right here where there's evidence, someone here has gotten evidence of someone cheating, and now this bitch is broke, they ain't got no money, and now they're trying to win at all costs here. So they, somebody is coming back, this false twin, they're no different. I feel like you're very guarded, you're standing your ground against this person, but you're definitely, I feel like, surrendering. Because they're, they're the ones that's burnt out. Or this is your person dealing with this false person. They're the ones that's burnt out. This false person, this false twin. But they partying though. Somebody here parties too much. They drink too much. They act like they have this turned up life. But they're really falling apart. Whoever this false twin is, child. <laughs> they're a loser. But this was your situation, Pisces. This was your reading. I hope this resonated. Okay. Um, Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Definitely, like I said, pay attention to these fake pages okay please don't get scammed all right and i love you guys i will talk to you guys later bye